intrusion for journalism's sake. With the rise of the so-called ambush journalist, many think that there's a special exception for journalists from the rights of privacy. There aren't. Today we'll talk about two cases that deal with this very issue. The first is Dietman versus Time, which was decided in 1963 by a California court where Time Magazine sent two undercover journalists to visit a man by the name of Dietman. Dietman lived in Topanga and would treat people for their ailments with clay and herbs. And Time was running an undercover article about quacks. Well, one of the journalists was a woman. She told Dietman that she had a lump in her breast. And they caught Dietman with secret recording device and with an undercover camera putting his hand on her breast with one hand putting a wand over some other jars with the other hand to determine what was the matter with her and she reported later that he finally decided I had butter poisoning because I ate rancid butter 11 years 9 months and 7 days ago the poison settled in my leg, causing the lump in my breast, and he prescribed clay pills. He was a quack. Later, after the story ran, he was charged with practicing medicine without a license. He was convicted. But he then sued Time for invasion of privacy. And the court said that when you are in your own home or office, you have the right of privacy you do not expect that somebody is going to secretly record you or secretly photograph you and this applies even when you're suspected of a crime. Now the second case is Sanders versus ABC. It was decided in 1999. ABC sent an undercover reporter into the psychic marketing group. She wore a hat cam. She would walk around taking secret recordings of everyone. One day she talked to one of the other psychic employees, Mr. Sanders, who talked about his hopes, his dreams, and then gave her a reading. When this aired on television, he sued ABC for invasion of privacy. He won. The court said that even though there were other co-workers around that could have heard this conversation, the public wasn't allowed on the premises, it was restricted access, and that the right of privacy has degrees. That you can't go into a, a, someone's office with a hat cam, even if there are other people in the office, and expect to be able to record with impunity. So the right of privacy does apply to the so-called legitimate press. Next, we'll talk about the second branch of the right of privacy, private facts.